Hello everyone, hope you are doing great and uh, this is actually um, a demo video for uh, the upcoming uh, video series uh, that we're going to be actually uh, working on uh, together to create this uh, to-do list called task manager uh, app and it's going to be following pneumorphic design so you can see this uh, nice soft UI that uh, we're going to be uh, creating so let's go ahead and, and take a look what we're going to be uh, building in this so we are uh, going to have this uh, UI uh, which is gonna have title and uh, there's a delete button that's gonna be basically to delete all the completed items there's gonna be a progress number uh, of uh, to show like how many tasks we have completed uh, so basically progress of those there's gonna be a progress indicator uh, to show like you know a visual representation of our uh, uh, completed tasks uh, completed versus incomplete and uh, then a list of items that needs to be completed and uh, basically list of items is going to be a checkbox um, that we're going to custom create so by the way all these things are we going to custom create uh, even this uh, gradient uh, gradient uh, text uh, view and uh, you're going to see how we can actually create uh, all these uh, and uh, we're gonna then reuse or or use those uh, components that we have built uh the components that, that we have uh, uh built and uh, we're gonna construct our ui on that so let's go ahead and add a new to do so we're gonna add um maybe um, just something okay so nothing is coming on my mind okay there we go so we added hello and uh we added um so let's add Swift UI, um, and uh, there we go. So we added hello and Swift UI. So as you can see, this is following pneumorphic design as well, and with nice uh, shadow of uh, like you know this light color and dark color. Um, and then you can actually select and check this, and notice how our uh, progress uh, animates. Um, and uh, basically shows that 50% of the tasks we have finished. Now, if we go and say, uh, let's complete all of them, then we get 100%. We get you can unselect because you might have actually not completed any of those. So we can actually just um, play around with these. Um, but yeah, whenever you complete, uh, if you want to clear up your completed tasks, just not see like, you know, how many you have completed. Although, I want to see the progress actually that I'm making a good progress so I usually want to leave it on but in case if you feel like you want to take these uh, the completed items off the list then you can simply press delete and it's going to delete all the completed items and you're going to basically work on your remaining items okay so this is going to be our um, uh, topic of discussion for next several videos okay so uh, we're going to be seeing like how we can uh, develop this uh, with the uh, UI in Swift UI following pneumorphic design principle and uh, creating custom reusable controls that we're going to be creating on the way and uh, then we're going to persist all this using core data and now we're going to be using core data uh, you can use realm or anything else if you want to um, and uh, we're going to be following MVVM to basically keep our Lot business logic and our UI separate. So in case you need to um, take this, uh, come these take these components out, like you know business business layer or uh, UI layer, you can actually very well do that, right? So with that said, let's go ahead and hop onto the next video where we're gonna start. Um, uh, we're gonna kickstart the series. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.